All right, I got a little update here. I didn't really trust um, the way that I found the about how wide the port widths are. So what I ended up doing is I got a nice little, uh, I don't know what you call it, a layout square, machinist square. That works pretty good. So what I did is I, I did the same thing that I did before. I marked out how wide everything was in my last video. But this gave me a little more accurate. I could hold it flat. Okay, so this is what I come up with. This is about as accurate as I can get it. And again, I'm not pushing stuff to the limits. But anyhow, <clears throat> the uh, the blue is pretty much where the edges of my piston skirt is. The red line indicates roughly two millimeters uh, ceiling, um, ceiling surface. But anyways, you can see that doesn't leave me much. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm really going to go any wider. A lot of the videos and stuff that I watched, you don't appear to get too much out of going wider. It's kind of difficult uh, for this piston. But you can see that one's, that one's pretty much right on. That's your uh, exhaust right there. So I think what I'm really going to try to do <clears throat> is possibly maybe just square not square but round those corners just a little more make it a little more flat now oh, here we go it's kind of hard to see you know up in here it's still oh there you go guys let me get you closer it's rounded at the top but you need that you need that so your rings don't catch so I'm going to do probably the best I can I am going to end up taking well you can't really see it this there's, there's a little there's a little lip on the bottom of here i don't know if you can see yeah, you can kind of see it right right down in here that little that little lip in there it is going to change a little bit but another thing that i don't like on this factory cylinder see that that's a little that's a little tiny pit oh, good you can see that that was there I noticed that when I was looking at stuff so by the time I just take that little tiny lip off and put a little bevel on there that's probably all I'm gonna do um, I just wanted to show you guys it, it, I figured it out it, a little bit more accurate with this as accurate as I'm gonna get it but uh, just another tool that I got off Amazon and uh, the tapered edges right there make it kind of nice to fit against that cylinder wall you hold it nice and flat on your base so now you know you're flat and it gives you a good place to put a little bit of a line those lines are a little bit distorted because I did put a piece of paper in here you know I'm gonna try and trace my ports um, as you can see that is you know that that's a little bit off um, I'll try and maybe just make it so they're they're pretty much even on both sides and uh, that's about it. So when I get done doing this, I'll get back to you. But it's just a little bit of an update. A little more accurate. Just goes to show you uh, how close these, uh, well, probably the better steel cylinder in the earlier days. Uh, you know, how, how accurate they probably are. So I'm not going to change too much. Just a little bit. And uh, I'll show you when I'm done. Thanks for watching, guys.